All right, Josh Graham. Uh, two quick things. One, or I guess this kind of leads together. Was there a part of you when you're in the corner and it's late in the game, you thought Roy might spend one of those timeouts? Uh, no, because we usually, with enough time on the clock, we want to go as fast as we can to not let their defense get set. Uh, so I knew we were going to push. It, it's above seven seconds we, we push, and usually uh, below seven we'll call a timeout and set a play up because uh, that's not enough time uh, for the most part. But there was more than seven seconds, so we uh, pushed it, and I got a shot. And was that the angle you thought you were going to be getting on that shot? Uh, no, but I noticed uh, – 33, um, what was his name? Uh, Cross uh, was playing G on the top side for most of the game, so I couldn't pass to him easily. Um, and my man was overplaying me in the corner, so I knew I'd be able to drive baseline. He kind of came at the last second, which I didn't anticipate, but I felt like I had enough space to get a shot off. And uh, I didn't really have any better options because I was kind of committed to it. Um, because if I were to, you know, kick it, to like Leaky or Caleb or somebody, I, I wouldn't have uh, had, an, they wouldn't have had enough time to shoot, so. Uh, Greg Barnes. Hey Andrew, wanted to, to ask you about Leaky. Uh, he didn't get the start at Georgia Tech and then bounced back with a with a strong game against Notre Dame, hit the, hit the game winner, and then had arguably his, his best game as a Tar Heel tonight. Uh, did you see his, his mindset change any? coming out of that, that Georgia Tech game? Um, a little bit. Uh, I think he was kind of pissed off uh, at his play, and, and he he definitely took it personally uh, and, and changed the way he, he played, which is major respect to him. Like, if, if you don't like the way that you're playing or you're, the minutes you're getting or whatever, uh, if you're not starting, then you, it's up to you to fix it. So I, I think he did take it personally, and this is the best stretch I've seen Leaky play. Uh, in my in my career with him, and I'm super proud of him. Thanks, Royal Howell. Hello, Andrew. Um, could you just speak on what is Carolina's identity? Is it just the inside inside outside game, step, stepping up the defense? What is Carolina's identity? Well, I hope what we played out there tonight is not our identity. Um, we're still. Uh, figuring it out, which is frustrating, being a four-year guy, knowing what we want to do, um, and not being able to commit to, to anything, whether it's offense or defense. I don't think we're playing that well or that poorly defensively, but there's still like so many little things that we can get better. And I mean, I, Kirsch was telling us we <laughs> shot like what was it, 34, 29 percent from two, which is like ridiculous with the the caliber of bigs we have. But we did shoot it well from the outside today, and I I thought our Guard play was decent, um, but not the best we can we can do like by a long shot. We have to get so much better if we want to make a run in the in the NCAA tournament, and um, we just we need to get better. Uh, JB, hey Andrew, uh, thanks for taking out the time. You you mentioned uh, the sloppy play that you guys had. I, I know you guys were down by nine at one point in the second half, and you had like seventeen turnovers. But what was the key? for the, the, the comeback as a whole. You know, you talked about the, the final play, not calling a timeout and you you getting the game winner, but what was the key to the to the comeback com uh, as a whole? We just kept fighting. That's honestly what it boils down to. We, we had heart and we had grit. And although we didn't play well the entire game, basically, um, we had enough heart to keep pushing. We, we knew we were right in it every timeout. We kept chipping, like the, the media timeouts, we kept chipping away at their lead and, um, we know we dug ourselves this hole and we had to dig ourselves out. So um, I, I think we did that really well. We showed some toughness, some resilience. Leaky hit a massive, massive three to tie the game. And then I put it away. So um, I, we had some guts tonight. Thank you. Andrew Jones, we're running out of time here, but Andrew. Okay, Andrew, on um, the last three games, games, you guys have hit eight, eight, and nine threes. You're just under 40% in that stretch. Is this more the kind of team you guys can be from the perimeter, or is this maybe just kind of a little bit of an aberration? No, we're, we're really good shooters. I think you put any of us in a gym with anybody in the country, like, I, I think we can outshoot them, if any, like, anywhere. Um, but this is more of what we know we can do, and it's like we don't even have everyone, like, shooting well. Like, Caleb and RJ still aren't shooting at, at the clip that I know they can get to and that they are going to get to the rest of the season because we all have confidence in them. But Leakey's been stepping up and hitting some some big shots. He had four today. 
I don't think I've ever seen Leaky make four threes before. But um, we, uh, yes, like we can we can make shots, and we're gonna do that the rest of the year. It's just it just takes time. Uh, like I said before, I, if this was my freshman year and I had the pressure that these guys had to perform like from the jump and I was getting the minutes they were getting, it, it, it takes a lot on an 18, 19 year old kid. And so just give them some time and they'll be fine. And we're going to be right there behind them. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to go last to Adam and then Greg Hall. Gregory Hall. Andrew, you said, you know, when you got the ball in the corner that you were committed. Um, I mean, was the choice made for you at that point just by the factors that you said, you know, your man, Garrison's man? I mean, was the choice made for you where you just had to go and you had you had to take the shot? Yeah, there wasn't that much time left. So I said, if, if my man closes out on me because Leaky was going to drive, if he commits to Leaky and kicks to me, I'm going to shoot it. But he kind of play, he played the drive pretty well. So he, he went out on me. So I just I drove baseline because I saw the angle on, on cross and I knew I could get a shot. I don't know if it was the best shot we could have gotten, but I mean, it went in and we won. So that's that's all there is to it. How did you stay in bounds? Because it looked it looked really tight. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Luck, I guess. All right, Gregory Hall, last one. Andrew, you've been with Garrison the longest. Um, as you kind of see, obviously down the stretch, there are two big free throws uh, and the turnover. But as you see him kind of struggling there, whether it's defensively, offensively, what are you communicating with him, whether during the game, on your own? What, what can you say to him to try to help him help him through this, this stretch here? Well, I was just telling him during the game, like, we got you. And, like, you're that guy. You're that guy for us. Like, you do this. We know. When he stepped up to the uh, free throw line and knocked those two big ones down, there's no doubt in my mind that they were both going in. But I kept just telling him, next play, next play. And, and to do everything, everything else. Okay, so your shot's not going in, so what? Be our best defender, be our, be our best rebounder, be the guy who will dive on the floor for a loose ball and set the example. Like that's, when your shot's not, that goes for everybody. Um, but I think G is the person that sets the example for our team because he's been there and he's done that. And he's been a really, really good player in this league. So we all got to follow what he's doing. So even, even the greats go through it sometimes. Thank you, Andrew. Um, team's got